in the last of this tutorial, you will be able to do this. So, please keep watching. Hello friends, welcome back, you are in programmer's world. In the previous tutorial, we learned that, how can we create a dynamic views in Android application. In this tutorial we will extend our tutorial, and we'll see that how can we populate views from list view. So let's start. First of all, Let's make our contents attractive, I am going to change the background color. You can also change the background color, by using mouse. You don't have to type changes into the XML file. But I prefer to change these attributes directly, in your XML file. Also to make the views attractive, we can take the help of Photoshop too. Now let's design background for our edit texts quickly. For that, right click on drawable folder, now click on new, and then, click on drawable resource file. Give a file name, I will give it, edit text background.xml. as I am going to design a background for edit text. So instead of selector, choose shape. Sorry, I think the code is not easily visible for you. We can zoom it, with the help of control key and by scrolling the mouse button. Ok, I think now it's perfect. So. Now first of all, I will take, solid background color. You can see that, I have taken white background color for my text field. Now, let's choose some border for our text field to make it more attractive. And I am going to choose Android color Black Here, you can see that just like a white react angle with a white back border is created Now let's use it as the background of our text fields in case of static views, we can make changes in XML file of the particular activity, but as we are creating edit texts dynamically, so we have to make changes in our dynamic view.java class file, which is generating the views for us. So let's go to the dynamic view class file. And here. Here we will use the set background resource method, and we will pass the path of background XML file to it, which we have recently created. Let's save and run this program for a while.
you can see now our edit text looks more attractive. We can make it better. And I think we should also use edit text here under price. Let do it. Now, it looks better. Now, I wish to display a list view on click of a button, and then I would like to select, an item from that, and that particular item should be displayed in in text view under description column. So, first of all I will simply create a button and on click of which, I will populate the list view. Declare a button in billing.java class, and then I will type cast it in onCreate method. Now simply assign a click listener and populate the list view from it. Here this code will just populate the list view, and now we have to store that value in a string, on which user will click in the list view. Here you can see, that in ABC we are storing the value which gets selected in the list view. I will just make the string static. And we can remember for a while that in ABC we are storing the value of the item selected by the user in the list view. Let's do that. Also, when user select any item from the list view, then we should direct him to the billing activity. Let's do that.
Now, as you see, that we have stored the item in the variable ABC, so now we will pass that value in the describe pie and text view method, so that it can be displayed on our billing activity. And at last one more important thing, as you can see that we have taken grid view. And also the position of contents are fixed. But we have to change it whenever views will get increase. So we will take a counter variable and increase accordingly. Also, another important thing. Do this coding inside a method, and name it as add view. First of all take a view object of view class. Now pass this add views method in add item click listener. Also increase the counter variable three steps as we are generating three views. Now let's run the program. As you see when we are going to select another item the previous item gets DISTROID. It is because, activity get changed, for this let's go to our list view. And here, instead of calling billing activity, we will simply finish the list view. Also let's increase the size of item here. Now, let's run this program again, and see the output.
so, as you see that now we are getting our views dynamically. You can modify it as per your requirement. This was just a guideline, by which you can use this tutorial to create an Android billing app. We can easily extract the values from these edit texts and also do their total. And also connect and save these values into database. I hope you like this tutorial. If you wish to make more video on this series, please give a thumbs up, share this and subscribe the programmers world. We'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye and have a nice day.